Thousands of migrant families could be separated from loved ones, and that's because ICE raids are expected to start Sunday. The raids will focus on at least 10 major cities. Makia Turner joining us live in the studio right now, and Makia, there are a few conditions to all of this. Yeah, that's right, Annie. According to the New York Times, ICE will be targeting about 2,000 migrants who stayed in the U.S. after orders for deportation. Now, most of these cases are pretty recent, and many of the families were actually notified early this year to report to ICE. Let me show you where the raids are going to start. The cities include San Francisco, Houston, Denver, Miami, New York, Baltimore, Chicago, and Atlanta. ICE doesn't give out specifics about timing or anything, though, for uh, security purposes. Now, many of these families who've come to the U.S. are trying to seek asylum here. Many of them have escaped violence and poverty where they're from. President Trump has actually been threatening ICE raids since last month, but pushed it back to give Congress some time to develop a plan. Now the administration is moving forward. President Trump has also spoken out about wanting a controversial citizenship question on that 2020 census after the Supreme Court ruled against it. Well, now he's abandoned in that idea of having the question added and said he plans now to sign an executive order that will order federal agencies to provide the data that they have about citizens and non-citizens to the Commerce Department. Take a listen to what he had to say about this. 15 to 20 billion dollars and you're not allowed to ask them, are you a citizen? But we're fighting very hard against the system that's a very difficult system. Now, here at home, Prince George's County uh, Police Chief Hank Stowinski is actually ordering officers to quit calling ICE unless the people they stop have criminal warrants instead of just a civil deportation order. Annie? All right,